from the overfish and bomb devastation reefs of Borneo in Malaysia to the subtropical reefs in Egypt. This is the largest coral rehabilitation initiative the world has ever seen. It spans from 9 degrees south of the equator to the Tropic of Cancer in the north. It is a quest to find the truth about the state of health and conditions of coral reef worldwide. It is also a study to understand the dynamics of the biogeography of corals, its degradation and its recovery. By looking at the big picture, we are able to evaluate and create rehabilitation system. First, we make observation on how corals are able to sustain the climatic changes of this planet. For this, we went on a journey of discovery. We found the likely answer in the subtropical region of the world. Global warming has its impact on the world's coral reef. This impact can be seen in many parts of the tropical region. However, when temperatures in the tropics is warm, the conditions in the subtropical become ideal for coral recruitment. Perhaps for millions of years, the dispersal of coral genes has traveled between the equatorial and the subtropical. The resilience of homotypic corals in the subtropical region is outstanding. Then, when human factors are added, the balance is suddenly broken. Coral reef and environmental resources will begin to lean towards depletion. For this reason, the system of reef rehabilitation must be studied and applied in the right places. Degradation of reefs is never the same from one location to another like different kind of disease requires different kind of treatment. Coral rehabilitation is no different. There is no single method that can be applied universally to restore coral reefs. This journey is to find answers and to use them to restore the corals. My name is Anwar Abdullah. Join me in a quest in global coral reef restoration Let's contribute to the conservation of our ocean.